Uh, for most folks, you know, your primary care um, provider, whoever that may be, is your first entry point and touch point um, for treating any of your, your painful conditions. And um, so starting there, I think, is super important um, just from a continuity perspective and, and getting the right referrals. And then advocating for yourself in that referral. I think knowing uh, what questions to ask, i.e., may I see a physical therapist for my pain? Uh, may I see uh, an acupuncturist, a massage therapist, you know, different, uh, different providers. I think in that moment, um, there is plenty of opportunity for the veteran to advocate for themselves. And I, I highly recommend that um, as supplemental therapies are, are often so much better than any type of medications um, lead to a much better quality of life. I'll usually tell folks, um, and this is more for my folks getting ready to go for their retirement physicals or things of that nature. That's usually where I have this conversation, but I think it's applicable here. Um, is to prepare for that appointment um, and keep a notebook um, by your office, whether that be an actual office or in the restroom where you maybe spend a little time. Uh, and every time you, you think of something or think of a question, write it down. Because then oftentimes in a, in a doctor's appointment, um, things are expedited and you feel rushed and like you don't have time to ask the question. Or um, like Dr. Liang said, you might, you might forget right? Because it feels very uh, like an anxious situation and you might be rushed out of the office. So I find that keeping, um, keeping a question, keeping a log um, or just a sheet of paper that you've thought about and prepared for before the appointment um, can also help facilitate conversation and q and A. I, I'm a patient now. <laughs> and, and I can tell you that it's always better to have an advocate with you especially in a hospital nowadays, but even in an outpatient, because most of us who go to a, a doctor's or a nurse's office are a little uh, gun shy. Uh, we're probably in denial, even doctors, especially doctors. And uh, th there's so much anxiety, you tend to forget what's being asked or remember what's being suggested. And I think having another person there, and they don't have to be an expert, to just ask questions. There are no dumb questions, just dumb answers. It's just critical in terms of keeping people honest and communicating. And uh, so I'm a big uh, fan of bringing in someone else into the office and uh, taking notes, asking questions then and in follow up. And uh, there isn't anything that is brought up that isn't worthy of clarification.